Joseph Stalin. Through political maneuvering, he succeeded in removing Trotsky before exiling him. In only a few months, he seized power and moved into the former Tsar's palace, the Kremlin. His ambition for the Soviet Union had no limits. A paradise for workers, the hope for a fairer society. He initiated large-scale construction projects, skyscrapers, railways. However, right from the start, problems accumulated. The communist dream was already starting to crack. The leader of the Kremlin had been governing only on the propaganda front. We've passed the Child Poverty Reduction Act and have lifted between 50 and 70,000 children out of poverty. He ordered journalists and filmmakers not to describe the world as it was, but rather how it should be. The harvests are bad? Make films showing radiant peasants in magnificent fields. The results are disappointing? Publicize rigged numbers. For Stalin, the communist system was perfect. He claimed any failures were due to sabotage and blamed the party members in charge of the economy. He seemed to take pleasure in making martyrs of those close to him. We will cut off the harmful members of the party. We are in a constant state of stupor and exhaustion. Paranoid, Stalin decided to purge all of society. His right-hand man, the chief of the secret police. I may be short in stature, but my hands are strong. The USSR became a police state, and Stalin's secret police from that point on controlled everything. The lines in the shops are interminable. The party was proud of what it referred to as re-education through labor. Deviant minds being put back on the straight and narrow. Heroes were invented. Intoxicated by the propaganda, foreign communist representatives traveled to Moscow to pay their respects to the dear father of the people. He who had restored pride to the workers around the world. Stalin was the enlightened guide of the communists. His portrait was everywhere, and every Soviet was required to honor him in any circumstances, because Stalin personified the success of communism. Hit hard. Extermination without selection. It's better to go too far than not far enough. We have moved to fight by going hard. We must and go in our decision to go hard. The very best chance. We went hard, going hard and going early. 